Dear friends, as our peace gong calls us together on this holy day, you're invited to have your bread and juice ready for communion later in the service, and hopefully you will light a candle to create your worship space, and let us prepare our hearts and minds to worship God on this fourth Sunday of Advent. Grace to you and peace welcome on this holy day as we come to make our way to Bethlehem and the manger. In this journey that we call life, we find our way each year to this place known as Bethlehem because it is the source of new beginnings. It is the place of new birth, transforming powers where hope is born and possibilities are ever present. On this day made holy by our gathering in community and communion wherever we are, let us now come as God's joyful people, daring to sing together as we worship and adore the one who is called Christ the Lord. Let us be in the spirit of prayer, and let us pray together. Holy God, by way of Bethlehem, lead us to newness of life. By the innocence of the Christ child, renew our simple trust. By the tenderness of Mary, deliver us from cruelty and hardness of heart. By the patience of Joseph, save us from all rash judgments and ill-tempered action. Life-giving God, by the shepherd's watch, open our eyes to the signs of your coming. By the Magi's journey, keep our searching spirits from fainting. By the music of the heavenly choir, put to shame the clamor and chaos of the earth. By the shining of a star, guide each of us into the way of hope, peace, joy, and love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, we have the assurance that nothing in all creation can ever separate us from the love of God made known to us through Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God for the gift and the promise for which we sing glory to God in the highest.
lighting our Advent wreath candles of hope, peace, joy, and love on this fourth Sunday of Advent will be Donna Ewell as Craig and Linda Mace share the reflections. The candle of hope is light for the world as we remember God's promise that every valley will be lifted up and all of the rough places will be made smooth. We pray that we will be God's radiant people of hope. The candle of peace is light for the world as we hear the refrain of peace on earth, goodwill to all people. We pray we will find peace within our hearts and strength to create peace in our home and community and world. The candle of joy is light for the world as the message of the angel proclaims, behold, I bring you good news of great joy. We will dare to celebrate laughter and good humor and also share the good news of our faith with all whom our lives touch. The candle of love is light for the world as we pray for the power to share the love of Christ in all that we say and in all that we do. Thanks be to God who sets before us hope, peace, joy, and love. Amen. Amen. May God increase our living in the hope, peace, joy, and love symbolized by these Advent candles. Amen. Kristen Putney, our Director of Faith Formation and Youth and Family Ministries, will now share our first lesson, and then we will sing the carol, What Child Is This? Hear these words from the Gospel of Luke. In the, those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria and all went to be enrolled, all to their own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And she gave birth to her firstborn child and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Deacon Emeritus David Graham will read the second lesson, and after each reading, the carols will follow. And in that region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will come to all people. For to you is born this day in the city of David, a savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger.
And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among all people with whom God is pleased. Now, when the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which God has made known to us. And they went with haste, found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they make known the saying which had been told them concerning this child. All who heard it wondered and what the shepherds told at the what the shepherds told them. But Mary kept all things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had seen and heard. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is the one who had been born ruler of the Jews? For we have seen the star in the east and have come to worship the newborn child. After talking with Herod, they followed the star until it came to rest over the place where the child was. Going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered the child gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh, and being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way.
come in this holy time bringing ourselves into the stable of new birth, and we give grateful thanks for our children and youth and readers and all the families of this faith community and beyond who have shared in the age-old wondrous story in a wide variety of ways, reminding us that God came in those days and in these days as a tiny little baby to show us the true meaning of life and love. We invite everyone to sing Away in a Manger. These days, 2020, a year we will hold in our memories forever. And here we are, a few days before Christmas Day, and in this worship we always include a particular song following this message, and it contains a poetic phrase that always gives me pause each year. The words are, God surprises earth with heaven, and yes, even in these uncharted, uncertain, unsettling days, Christmas comes. God surprises earth with heaven. And so the story is told from those days to these days. In those days, a baby. And surprise, who gets the news first? The shepherds receive the news. Think again about that bit of PR on God's part. Generally, on Christmas cards and in paintings, shepherds are portrayed as gentle keepers of the pastoral scene. But the reality of their lives was much harder and rougher. They were working men on the night shift out in the fields and the hills all around Bethlehem. Did you ever think about how much the shepherds were looked down upon in those days by all the people because they couldn't keep the routine of hand washing and other forms of ritual cleanliness that were so much a part of Jewish law? And obviously, sheep don't keep the Sabbath, so neither could the shepherds. That's why they stayed out of town, in part because the so-called good people would not dream of associating with them. And yet, surprise. The news of Jesus' birth is announced precisely there, not in a palace or a temple, not where things are bright and beautiful, not to the upper class folks or the good people or to whoever might be considered the right people, but surprising as it would have been back then, in retrospect, it seems entirely fitting because we know that Jesus in his teaching days was always showing up in the most unlikely places and associating with the most surprising people. In those days, there was chaos and confusion. There were power-hungry politicians and greedy money changers. There was dishonesty and disillusionment, hunger and homelessness. And yes, here we are in these days. If anyone dares to watch the constant stream of daily news or check the internet for the headlines, in these days, there have been many places of selfishness and scams, the fears of this pandemic, the untold numbers dying or homeless, the racism, the prejudices, the evil, the self-indulgence. However, in those days, there were those who were open to surprises, open to new possibilities, open to good news. And because of this baby born in Bethlehem, everything gets turned upside down. Mary was lowly and lifted up. Jesus broke boundaries, helped us to understand the prodigal is accepted and worthy of love, that the foreigner Samaritan is the true neighbor, that hierarchy and control over another is not acceptable, that forgiveness is not a sign of weakness, but a demonstration of strength. Surprises 
In those days, this nativity story overflowed with surprises, surprises that teach us so much for these days. Whenever I hear the angel's message, fear not, it surprises me with renewed strength and opens us to surprises. Even though we have heard this story of Jesus' birth many times, it is surprising because it can touch us in different ways, so it's never the same story. I often recall the honest and touching feelings that one person shared with, with me when he lost his father. He was feeling the pain of that as he watched our living creche outside. And he said, somehow this story of God with us as a vulnerable baby helped to heal my pain. I heard the good news and I vowed to reach out and help others heal their pain, realizing that when we're vulnerable and yet there for each other, we give strength and healing love. A surprising discovery for me, he said, and I come back every single year. For me, I'm still surprised that this living nativity that we started way back in 1986 can be such a powerful way for us to tell the story of God surprising earth with heaven and coming to be one of us. Why? Because every year people have come up to me out there on the sidewalk and said, thank you for telling this story every year. It holds the true meaning of Christmas for our family. Or someone will say, it wouldn't be Christmas for us without coming here. Because we need to be reminded that this living nativity holds the key to all that is holy in all the ways that we are to live love. Well, this year with all the challenges, we have designed for tonight, this very Sunday night, 12-20-20, a different living nativity to con continue the tradition in a very safe way, masks and physically distanced, and invite everyone to come and dress very warmly as this will be a walking candlelight journey to the manger. Bring a candle or flashlight or light on your phone and walk the lighted pathway of Luminaria to the manger with surprises along the way. Because, as the song says, God surprises earth with heaven. I hope I never cease to be surprised at how generous and compassionate people are in this season of Advent and Christmas. And truly, as good news to more people than we can count, the angel tree in Slater Park, the sponsorship of a school child in Haiti for a year, the food for the baskets going to families who are struggling, the gift certificates for food and clothing, the carols sung on the phone to the homebound and the FaceTime made possible for those in nursing homes, the Zoom gatherings, the cards signed and sent, the visits made in unique ways, the children being taught through computer connections, the bulbs planted, the toddler parent Zoom gathering, the dialogues to raise new understandings on racism, the continued outpouring of care for our partners in Haiti, all of you giving in so many, many different ways with joyful and loving hearts. Indeed, all part of our living out God's surprising presence here on earth. A multitude of reminders that we are God's people who live between the cradle and the cross through the love of Christ. Yes, in those days, the people were surprised that God would come into a common straw-filled manger with smelly, noisy animals and give the news to crude shepherds and a rough carpenter and a girl too young that God would come as a helpless child. Truly, this birth story holds far deeper meanings than we can ever fathom. But in these days, God enters our lives at unexpected times, times of crisis, times of compassion, times when we're feeling helpless and someone says, I care, or I'll help you. God enters our lives whenever and wherever love is stronger than the forces that threaten to defeat us. And so may we dare to declare and be open to the surprises of God and honor the gift of the Christ child that empowers us to love one another and reveal that love in all we say and do. May it be so for all of us. Thanks be to God. Amen. Oh, yeah.
Please remember all who are in need of prayers, especially during these days, all who are connected in this faith community, all who are grieving losses, all who are undergoing tests, treatments, or recovery time, all who are suffering in any way, all who are caregivers, and all who are daring to hold fast to hope, peace, joy, and love. We pray for our UCC conference churches and leaders, our wider church ministries, our country, our world, and we invite you to all please subscribe to our weekly emails to be aware of all that is happening here, the events, the services, the concerns, and the opportunities. Let us gather our hearts in the spirit of prayer. Let us pray. Holy center of this most holy season, you have sent Jesus as the child and as the ruler, and all our stars point to the birth. All our wanderings come home to you. All our grief and delight will find a place in the stable where you choose to transform poverty and pain and loneliness and rejection. Your light shines in our lives, O God. Your peace embraces our angers, anxieties, sorrows, and sadness. Your life opens us to new discoveries of our most intimate selves and of our neighbors, however we may find them. As poor as shepherds, as wise as magi, as amazed as Mary, as helpless as infants, in this humble birth, O God, we discover your everlasting and amazing grace. Empower us to give over our fears, to hear the angel message that none shall be afraid, to rejoice in the good news or a change in our very lives, that we may live the love that Christ shared in wondrous ways. Be with all whom we name before you in the deepest places of our hearts. Be especially with those grieving or fearful, and may your peace, hope, joy, and love fill each one with new life and radiate out into this world that yearns for peace and new life. We offer all of our prayers, O God, with the joy of your abiding love indwelling and overflowing in our hearts and minds. And in Christ's name, we now offer the prayer taught to all of the followers as we say together, Our Father and Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Dear friends, we come now to the table of our Savior on this holy day. And we remember on that night when Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and giving thanks, blessed it and broke it, saying, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this always, remembering me. And in the same manner, Jesus also took the cup and blessing it said, this cup is the cup of the new covenant, which is the covenant of love. 
Do this also, remembering me. Ministry now in Christ's name, I invite all who live and love in that holy name to share the bread and the cup and reflect on the love of Jesus Christ within us all. Let us pray. Life-giving and loving God, we give thanks that you have nourished us at this, your table. And we pray that you will continue to guide us in Christ's love through the days ahead. Amen. Let us now sing together, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. hope, peace, joy, and love in our hearts, we go now into the world, daring to make known the message of Christmas for these days. We go to share the good news as it has been made known to us. Let us sing our song of parting. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. peace of Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us this day and always. Amen. Amen.